Greetings everybody and welcome back to Inganarius Cuborum, my let's play of Minecraft featuring the Feed the Beast Ultimate Pack. Uh, last episode I started the process of making some uh, titanium ingots. Now, I got as far as making the small piles of titanium dust. In order to actually turn them into titanium ingots, and I think it's actually titanium plates that I need, but I can get those from titanium ingots pretty easily with the uh, plate roller. I am going to need an industrial blast furnace. Now, in order to make this industrial blast furnace, I need the block itself, but I also need these machine casings, and these are very expensive. I need the advanced machine block, which is a simple machine block surrounded by carbon plates and advanced alloys. Now, in order to get the carbon plates, I need this coal dust, which I macerated off camera. Four of them turn into raw carbon fiber, and then two raw carbon fibers turn into a raw carbon mesh. So I'm going to go ahead and run over to my industrial craft processing area. I'm going to go ahead and throw the raw carbon meshes into, a com into my compressor here, and they should turn into the uh, carbon plates I need, but in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and put some bronze in the plate bending machine. I'm also going to go ahead and put some invar in there for the moment. The bronze is going to be pressed into bronze plates. And fortunately, the plate bending machine is pretty quick. Alright. So there's our bronze plates. And now I'll put my tin in there to finish this off. Uh, check on the compressor, and in fact, I do have my carbon plates. So let me go ahead and let this plate bending machine finish up. Let's see, check on whatever other machines I have. There shouldn't be anything in any of them. So there's my Invar plates. And luckily for me, I do seem to have a texture for the tin plates. Not for the Invar bronze plates, but I do have one for the tin plates. Hmm. Ah, well. And there's my tin plates. And now I run over to my crafting area. Between my two uh, blast furnaces. I can't use either of these blast furnaces. I have to use industrial blast furnace for what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and put tin plate on the bottom, the bronze plate in the middle, the Invar plate on top, and that's going to give me two of these mixed metal ingots. Probably guess I need 18 of those. I'm also going to go ahead and craft my machine blocks now. There we go, nine of those. And, uh... You also saw that I needed six of these steel plates and two advanced circuits per. So I'm going to go ahead and make the advanced circuits. Eighteen. I just realized I don't have enough redstone. Again. I was kind of hoping I'd have enough, but no, I'm not going to have enough. There we go, get my lapis lazuli. So I can only make five. I might as well grab the sixth one out of there. Go ahead and put my machine block in there. Make my way back over to my industrial craft processing area. Check on my carbon plates. And I think I'm going to switch out. I think I'm going to do a little bit of a switch out. Once that's done processing. There we go. So that you all can see what the mixed metal ingots become and confirm for yourselves that the mixed metal ingot is in fact what I want uh, to get the uh, advanced alloy that I need. And 
And there it is, my first advanced alloy. Now it's going to take a bit for that to get done processing. I'm actually, I think, going to have to go off camera simply because I need more redstone desperately. I shall return. All right, so I've gone ahead and grabbed myself some redstone through mining. Uh, I've also managed to let my carbon plates and advanced alloys finish up. So now I'm going to go ahead and make the advanced machine blocks. Uh, I need to finish up the circuit conversions. So let me just get that taken care of real quick here. Now, if I put a machine block in the middle, advanced circuits of the size of the machine blocks, and some steel plates there. That's going to give me 36 of these reinforced machine casings. And before I actually place anything down, I want to make sure I have my industrial blast furnace, the actual block itself. All right. So let's start with the Cooper Nickel. Oh, that requires a rolling machine. It looks like copper and nickel. So I'm going to go ahead and grab eight copper, eight nickel. Can I leave my rolling machine up here? No, it's got to be downstairs. Now the rolling machine does require build craft power. You've actually seen me use it in a previous episode. I forget. I want to say it was episode 4. Yeah, I think it was episode 4 when I used it. But yeah, I need to make my way over here. Cross this bridge. Ah, uh, don't worry. This long walk will be, uh... Rendered obsolete before too much longer. Um, heck, I thought it was obsolete already, but I suppose there are a few more things I do need to do. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the powered furnace. What? I thought my rolling machine was down here. Overizer. So powered furnace, liquid transposer. Give me a moment, I need to find my rolling machine. Alright, found my rolling machine. Turns out it was up there and I just somehow managed to miss it. Uh, at any rate, let me go ahead and fill in my rolling machine. Ooh, actually I wanted the... Well, no, those are the corners. Never mind. Alright. Now I just need to start up the engine so I can get some power flowing in here. Hopefully it won't take too long to get my cupro nickel heating coils. And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and check the other components. Alright, looks like it's going to require another advanced machine block. Two electronic circuits. Ooh. Two induction furnaces, so I need three more advanced machine blocks. I forgot I have to click on that so that it actually gets crafted. But let me see here. I need three machine blocks and two electronic circuits. Induction furnace require... Okay. I'd like to think I have enough. Alright. I'm just going to go ahead and turn that off. It looks like I do have some uh, work to do. Three more machine blocks means six more, yeah, means six more um, carbon plates and uh, advanced alloys. The advanced alloy I think is going to be the easy part. The hard part I think is going to be getting the carbon plates. And I'll also have to check uh, what I have as far as... Uh, Refined iron, real quick. I'm up here. 17 will not be enough. I'm going to go ahead and grab half a stack of iron. While I'm at it, let me think. I think I need two 
and then four iron, and then I think, what is it, three quarters of a stack of coal? Let's see here. I also need three bronze. Thankfully, I have it. Ooh. No, that's going to save me the trouble. Because I guess I still have some invar ingots left over. Yeah. That's not too bad. So I'm going to make my way over to my industrial craft processing area. And I've got three machines I need to fill here. Once I get over here. Number one is the mace raider. I need to put the coal in the mace raider. I need to put the iron in the electric furnace. And I'm going to go put my bronze and my invar in the plate bending machine. Go ahead and put the tin in there as well now that I've got my bronze. And there's my invar plates. And three tin plates. Mace Raider is going to take a while. And the electric furnace is going to be only somewhat faster. But in the meantime, I can make my way over to my crafting area. Invar plates. Bronze plates. Tin plates. Mixed metal ingots. Uh, let me think here. I also need to craft... Let me think. How many electronic circuits do I need total? I need two for that. The advanced machine block will not require any. I've already got my cupronickel heating coils. So four total? Yeah, four total sounds good. Now, I need more uh, refined iron to make the machine blocks. So run over to my industrial craft processing area. Real quick here, hopefully. Now, into the compressor go the mixed metal ingots. I'm going to go ahead and take what refined iron I've got so far. The coal dust is going to take quite a good while, and I'm probably going to have to go off camera while I wait for the coal dust to actually Macerate. But in the meantime, I can get most of the rest of the components sorted out. So there we go. Let me think here. So 10 iron. Let me think. I think I have a spare furnace here, yes. Can't use the slag furnace for this job. Of course, I don't have any cobblestone on me, do I? I do not. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab myself just a little bit of, a little bit more cobblestone. The gate more will do the job. Making my way back over to my crafting area. Part of me can't help but admit that it might be more convenient for me if I moved my crafting area there. But that's, really, that's an off-camera project. Uh, in the meantime, make a furnace. Go ahead and turn them into iron furnaces. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn the iron furnaces into electric furnaces. Now, I need the machine block in the middle, and I'm going to have to return once I have my carbon plates. I'll go ahead and get carbon plates right out off camera, and I shall return. All right, I've got my carbon plates. I've got my advanced alloys. Time to make my advanced machine blocks. Now, in order to finish the induction furnace, I need copper, 14 units of copper. I'm actually running a little short on copper at the moment. Uh, with any luck, it shouldn't take too much longer. Alright. Now, put the induction furnaces at the bottom corner. It's the advanced machine block in the center. 
surround the machine block with the cupro nickel heating coils and the two electronic circuits on top and I've got my industrial blast furnace and finally just let me grab a couple of buckets and also drop off my one remaining torch. I, I should probably consider crafting I am going to need to craft more torches because off camera I think I'm going to need to grab some more redstone. Why am I always running out of redstone? <laughs> anyway, uh, in case you're wondering, I have this line that I've run under the floor. It actually runs under these machines, um, but with a block separating them so that they don't actually touch these machines, which is good because uh, it's that line right there. It goes straight from there. It does not go through this transformer for going here, which it actually is what I want for this industrial blast furnace. Now, I open up the inventory, and as you can see, it says incomplete machine, crit machine casing. Well, that's why I built these reinforced machine casings. So I'm going to go ahead. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and fill my two buckets with uh, lava. Now, I had to make my way back. If I can get on top of the structure here. There we go. One bucket of lava there. One bucket of lava there. More of these reinforced machine casings on the top. And now, all right, as you can see, it says heat capacity 2200K. That's a good sign. That tells me that I've done this right. And given the distance, as long as I don't have anything else drawing power, I should not have an issue with that. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my 16 tiny piles of titanium dust. Four of them give me a titanium dust. And I'm also going to go ahead and grab my aluminum dust. I'm going to go into my industrial blast furnace. I'm going to put my titanium, titanium dust in there. And this is going to give me the titanium ingot. And at this point, I am getting ever closer to actually getting my quarry. Even if I have to acknowledge I have no way of powering it at this point in time. I'll get there eventually. Uh, at any rate, there's nothing else running here, and... It would actually be to my disadvantage to have anything else running because it's going to pull power away from the industrial blast furnace. It's close to being done with the first thing. It and uh, there it is, one titanium ingot. But if I check the recipe for a diamond drill. It actually requires titanium plates, but that's easy enough to do. I have a titanium ingot. All I need is to put the ingot in a plate bending machine. Like the one I conveniently happen to have here. And I'm going to have my titanium plates. It's going to be a f 10 seconds or so. Um, yeah, about 10 seconds. And three, two, there we go. There's my second titanium ingot. So now I'm just going to go ahead and real quickly here, just turn them into titanium plates. Now, let me double check. Let me do one quick double check of the recipe here. Alright, looks like I need an advanced circuit, but that's fine. I think I've got the resources for an advanced circuit, which means I can upgrade the drill I've got on me to a diamond drill. And while I'm at, I'm going to go ahead and grab myself some steel out of here. Alright. Might as well craft myself three electronic circuits. While I'm at it, grab myself some tin 
so I can make an RE battery. Then let me think. It's RE battery, electronic circuit, ingots, or did I miss? Or am I missing something? I think I am missing something again. At any rate, what I can do pretty easily, grab myself a pair of lapis lazuli. Yeah, might as well make it a quartet of lapis lazuli and glowstone. Because I know I'm going to need two of these. So I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, advanced circuit at the bottom. Titanium plates to the sides. Mining drill in the center. Now grab diamonds. Diamonds like so. And that's going to give me a diamond drill. It's just that little bit more powerful than an electric drill. Hold on a minute. Let's see. Check the recipe for the, for the mining drill. It is... Oh, right. I have to turn them into steel plates. I forgot about that part. Greg Tech makes it so that instead of being able to use the ingots, you have to use the plates. And I suspect in the time it took me to figure that out... Yep, my other two titanium ingots got done. So I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, let my plates get bent here real quick. There we go. My two titanium plates, my five steel plates. I'm going to go ahead and put my aluminum dust in there. It's going to be a little bit quicker to smelt than the titanium, I think. Not by much, but that's fine. That's something I can just let run off camera, honestly. I'm actually getting pretty close to the time to build a quarry, believe it or not. All right. That said, steel plates, RE battery, electronic circuit, mining drill. Add diamonds, titanium plates, and the advanced circuit, I get a diamond drill. I'm going to go and leave the diamond drill in here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and grab... Let's see, 2816, I need eight diamonds out of here. Let's see, now I'm going to go ahead and craft myself some planks. Go ahead and turn them all into sticks. There we go. Turn them on into gears. And now I need to remember, first off, let me clean up my inventory real quick. Sticks, buckets, and the extra reinforced machine casings. I'm not going to fret too much about those. I mean, maybe I'll build a second industrial blast furnace. Maybe I won't. I haven't decided yet. At any rate, I do need to grab some, uh, whatchamacallit. Cobblestone, so I can finish making the gears for the quarry. So I'm going to make my way over to the crafting area. <laughs> uh, it shouldn't be too much longer before I actually have a quarry. Yeah, cobblestone around a wooden gear is a stone gear. Iron around a stone gear is an iron gear. Iron gear surrounded by gold is a gold gear. Gold gear surrounded by diamonds is a diamond gear. And let me check my uses on the diamond drill here. And it takes another advanced circuit. Oh. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I am short five freaking redstone. Well, more mining off camera. I shall return. And actually, now that I think about it, considering that the next episode is going to require even more redstone, probably a stack at absolute minimum, and maybe even more than that, it's going to be a bit of a long mining trip. And this seems as good a place as any to end this recording session. So, this has been Ingenarius Kuborum. See you next time, everybody.